What is up guys, Kevin of Red Light Bros coming back at you with another little haul today. This was just a half pound lot that I had won from a thrift store auction, I believe. Uh, I haven't won these in quite a while. I haven't even looked for quite, for quite a while. So <laughs> these have just come off of their uh, fresh quarantine. We're gonna go through and look through these. I don't even remember. <laughs> I don't even remember these things. Uh, but I know it's a half pound just because of the size of the box. Uh, the particular thrift store that I use kind of goes over they have like the same boxes that they use for everything. These are the half pound ones and the pound ones come in that square box that we always get uh, all the time as well. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and dump this out. I think these are just vintage things and I think that's why I picked this up. Um, I will, I don't know how much I paid for it, but I could probably pull that up on the computer. I'm just gonna fire up the computer while we're going through these so I can pull it up at the end uh, and see what we ended up paying. It's a piece of gold there. Uh, Ooh, the red ore. That's a good one. I think those were in the Barracuda is what the red ore came from. We had the old school um, pirate flag there as well. That I believe was on a fortress. I think it's where we found that one. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that's where that came from. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive in here. This was just a, like I said, just a half pound lot. These usually don't go up too high. I think I probably paid like $50 or something to that effect for it. Um, but there was some good stuff that I was able to see in here. So, uh, of course, we got to start with Ice Planet because uh, hashtag vote Ice Planet. It's got to win. I mean, we need another Ice Planet set for the classic Lego collection. My, did, my computer did come up here, so let me go ahead and fire this up and see while we are waiting for this. We have an Unkar Thug or uh, the whatever came with the Ray set. <laughs> I don't remember what that one was. Uh, also, we have a Phase 2 Gunner, which is one of the main reasons why I got the lot. Uh, obviously he's wrong head and doesn't have hands, but we'll fix that uh, as long as his body is not cracked, which it doesn't look like it is. Both arms are cracked, but his body is in great condition. So that works. We'll be able to change those arms out. And that is the first ting of the day, boys. So we're going to go ahead and hopefully build off of that. We have Marion from Indiana Jones. Ice Planet should have been a ting. Uh, this is a great figure too. This is the uh, green arrow. It's dirty for sure. Uh, but we'll be able to clean that up. His torso is not scratched or anything like that, just dirty. Uh, so Green Arrow, hopefully we find his headpiece somewhere in here because that's going to be problematic if we don't have the headpiece. Uh, this is actually from the... I think... Did Ice Planet go over these two? I don't I don't think they did. Um, this is most likely from the Aqua Knots. They had these crystals and the magnets and everything like that. That's actually a good piece too, that magnet piece. So we'll be able to use that as well. Uh, there's another Star Wars fig there too. Let me pull this up. I know you guys all want to know, but what about the price? But how much did you pay? I'm trying to remember if I got this off of um, eBay. Yeah, looks like it was an eBay purchase. So pull that up. We should be able to see from the figs that we got in here which one it was. Um, oh, this is a little bit more than I thought. This one was $70, um, so 70 bucks, but uh, there's some classic vintage stuff in here that I think we'll be all right with. Blacktron, of course, one of my favorites in there too. I have pretty much everything in here. Unitron, so your Unitron, Blacktron, Ice Planet so far. We got the old Imperials. There's a good sword too. It's not even worn out. Nice. Usually you get these and they're all the paint. The chrome paint is all scratched up there. Let's see if we can count up the, uh, <laughs> the classic space themes here. If we got one of each, uh, we had so we had Ice Planet, we had Unitron, we have Spirius there, Blacktron. We need Mtron, and some other ones. We'll see what we get. Um, the old school pirate there. That's a good one. We have the newer Mace Windu, newer form of him with the printed legs. Another Spirius. That one doesn't count. We already got that. Uh, this was one of the other main reasons why I got this haul. This is one of the uh, kernels from the pirates. His hat is super rare, his head is ultra rare, and his torso is very hard to find as well. He is not cracked or anything. That guy should cover more than half of the cost of this lot, and therefore we have another ting to put down in the pile down there. We do have Sabine Wren here as well. Uh, this one is the, um, uh, wow, why can't... <laughs> Darth Maul. Uh, Darth Maul, the printed arms and everything. I think this is the one that's supposed to have the mechanical legs. I just ha I have so many of those torsos. I'm going to have to put those on Bricklink because I don't know what I'm going to do elsewhere, elsewise because the legs are so expensive to try to order. Nothing really there. We have some Ultron, an Ultron Sentry. Where do you went over the Oh, we have two of those guys, the thugs. Uh, and then we just have some old, I think that's a Paradisa fig. Old school Lion Knight. Another old school Imperial. Some dragon wings. There's actually four dragon wings we'll be able to put on some green dragons, which I didn't have any of those. So those are going to be usable and we'll make those dragons no problem. 
Uh, first Order Troop, we got another Imperial. Some old pieces in here too, which is kind of funny. What's in the treasure chest? Gold? Oh yeah, look at that. Striking it rich. Nice. Some Lion Knight Shields. Um, just an old racer. Do have a... I'm trying to remember if that's Tarkin. It might be Tarkin. I'm trying to remember how many um, lines he had. I don't, it might just be an Imperial Officer in there as well. Not 100% sure. Star Wars, got another... Um, Skeleton? I couldn't think of the word skeleton. Uh, another Lion Knight. First Order guy. What else we got in here? Another Lion Knight. There's a Hawkman's helmet, I think is what they call him. Hawkman, if I'm not mistaken. Don't know what that one is. I'm trying to remember what that one is. I don't know if it's superheroes or something to that effect. Uh, we got the bottom of BB-8, and we have Rey here with her little headpiece there. Here's our Ice Planet helmet. God, it's so good. It's so good. You gotta, gotta bring it back. Come on now. You, come on now. Printed hair figs, too. Uh, unfortunately, it's not the uh, Ice Planet Babe, Dr. Kelvin. That would have been real nice. Uh, I think we have Sabine's. So these aren't Sabine's legs. These are Sabine's legs. Boom. Like that. Don't have her head, as far as I can see. We have Alex, Green Goblin, My Mighty Micro. Another one of the pirates. Uh, this goes to a Spirius guy. Oh, newer pirate. Here's Hawkman's legs. I think is what the... Uh, maybe that's Loki's legs. That might be Loki legs. Um, Star Wars helmet. What else we got? There's a welder helmet. That's pretty cool. From the series fig, I think. I don't think that's from the Ninjago one. I think that's a series fig. Oh, this guy's got this. They might have had the battle pack. The old school space battle pack. Oh, it's so good. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, my childhood right here. This sums it up. Oh, it's so good. So good. <laughs> so good. I know you guys don't get it. You're like, what? What's so good about it? All my childhood memories. That's what's so good about it. Whole bunch of lion shields and stuff like that. And then some parts and pieces. We got the old gray pieces, which is really cool. So the old gray muskets, old gray swords, old gray axes. Like I said, the red ores, those are hard to find as well. Looks like I have a mine pack. Minecraft pick there too. And some old tools, uh, the old gray coloring and stuff like that. So super, super, super cool. Uh, not a whole ton of things that's super exciting, but uh, like I said, these two guys will pay for it, more than pay for it anyways. Uh, this guy is so hard to find uh, with his correct headpiece. Those headpieces are just ridiculously hard to find, and he is in fantastic condition. So really happy about getting that guy with his hat and the correct head, and the torso. That's definitely going to be my favorite of the day. This is actually a pretty good fig, too, if I can find the rest of him, have this hood and everything like that, uh, and his head, which I might have. You never know in the superhero's bin. You never know what's in the superhero's bin. There's a... Uh, is a real one or fake? That's yeah, a real one. Uh, so there's an Iron Man helmet we can use, too. It has the dark gray on it there, too. So really, really cool stuff. Uh, I love the vintage halls. <laughs> it just takes me back so much comment below what your favorite of today is unfortunately we did not get our mtron or space police to complete the the, <laughs> the full gamut of old space but anyways love you guys thank you very much hit all the buttons share with your friends and i'll catch you on the next one